Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. MTG Box Analysis here with another Modern Horizons pre-release kit. We got six more play boosters, we got an arena code to give away, and we got a die to take a look at. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open, see what kind of value we can find, see what color die we got. Looks like we got the white one here. Very cool, I don't have that one yet, so I'll add that to my collection. I always try and get at least all of them. And our pre-release card is gonna be an obtruse appropriation. And directly behind that is gonna be our arena code. We'll get to that at some point during the video and that'll allow you to grab some packs on arena. But before we get there, let's go ahead and crack open our play boosters and see what kind of goodness we've got. We've gotten extremely lucky with these pre-release kits. Not sure if the rumors are true that they pre, uh, that they kind of stack these things up, but uh, so far so good. So we got an Inventor's Axe, followed by a Temptist Harvest. Then we're gonna see a Colossal Dread Mask, followed by a Retrofitted Transmogrant. Mandiblard Kite with a, a Sarpedian Sir, similar crumb, a Twisted Landscape. Then we got an Obstinate Gargoyle, Reckless Pyrosurfer, an Essence Reliquy with a Pinnacle Monk. Then we're gonna see ourselves a Distinguished Conjurer, and our rare is gonna be a Winter Moon. And then we're gonna see ourselves an Eldrazi Repurposer in foil with an Eldrazi Spawn as our token. All right, moving into pack number two here. That was an okay pack number one, but certainly not home run Grand Slam. So we got ourselves a Wither and Bloom with a Solstice Zealot, Seed Smash, an Aether Spike that we're gonna pick up an Expanding Ooze with a Fetid Gargantua, a Tranquil Landscape. Then we got an Envoy of the Ancestors with a Planar Genesis. Then we're gonna see Strength of the Harvest with Priest of Titania. And our rare is gonna be Weight of the Reliquy. Followed by a Decree of Justice in Foil. Then we're gonna see ourselves a Full Art Forest with Tamiyo uh, coming in as our token. All right, moving into our next pack. Looks like we got a double-sided token in the back. So we've got a Skoa Ember Mage, followed by a Dream Inferior. Then we got an Evolution Witness, Kami of Jealous Thirst, an Airy Auxiliary with a Molten Gatekeeper, followed by a Warp Tusker, Sneaky Snacker, love that card, Snow Covered Waste, that should hold a little bit of value for us. Then we're gonna pick up a Depth Defiler, a Phyrexian Ironworks, followed by a Decree of Justice Non-Foil, and we're gonna pick up a Polluted Delta coming in. Very nice hit from the, uh, from the main set there. Then we're gonna pick up a Foil Retrofitted Transmogrant with a Spirit and an Energy Reserve Double-Sided Token. All right, sliding into pack number three. Got our first art card of the pre-release kit. So we got ourselves a Hex Gold Slith, followed by a Fanged Flames. Then we got a Corrupted Shapeshifter, with a Nightshade Dryad, a Refurbished Familiar, a Bountiful Landscape, followed by a Furnace Hellkite, Quest for the Necropolis, Glyph Elemental, and we're gonna see a Bridgeworks Battle, followed by a Wirewood Symbiote, and we're gonna pick up a Sewing Mycospawn coming in as our rare, followed by a Nyxborn Unicorn in Foil, a Foil Forest, and there we go, non-signed art card in the back. All right, All right move it into our next pack here. Really nice to see that we already got a fetch land. Super happy about that. If you can get one big hit out of these pre-release kits, I think you're doing okay. All right, this one kicks off with a tune the narrative, followed by a basking brood scale. Then we're gonna see a wither in bloom, solstice zealot with a seed smash, obstinate gargoyle, followed by a twisted landscape, path of annihilation, worm coil lava, triton wave breaker, then we're a revitalizing repast with an Orphomancer coming in as our rare. We are gonna get a double rare, aha. We got Eldamari Corvectal coming in as a mythic. Very nice to see that. Put him right over there. Then we get a Royal Cartographer in foil with a blank card uh, token in the back. All right, final play booster and then we'll get into that arena code and someone's gonna get a couple of free packs uh, on arena on me. All right, this one starts off with a Rose Caught Knight, followed by a Void Pouncer. Then we're gonna see a Petrifying Meddler, a Temperamental Oozwag, Dream Drinker Vampire, Conduit Goblin, followed by a Foreboding Landscape, Collective uh, Resistance, Golden Tail Trainer, Sundering Eruption, Shrieking Drake, with a Primal Prayers coming in as our rare, 
followed by a foreboding landscape in foil and a regular old mountain with an Eldrazi spawn. All right, let's go ahead and crack open our little bonus pack here. Take one more look at our pre-release card, the Apprentice, or excuse me, the Abru uh, Abstruse Appropriation. Very cool. And then we're gonna see a couple of blank cards here. So I think we get three. One, two, and here is the arena code. So if you type that into arena, you'll get six packs of Modern Horizon 3 on me. All I ask is that you uh, comment and let everyone else know that you claim the code so that way everybody else can stop trying. So thank you so much for watching. On your screen is the value of the pre-release kit. How did we do? I think we did pretty, pretty good. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, do something amazing. Get early access to videos, download the analysis for every box open on the channel, and personally DM me, just like these fine people. All by becoming a member of the channel through YouTube or over at mtgboxanalysis.com. You'll find links in the description. Until next time, do something amazing.